So I live in Downers Grove and um, I really found the community to be very, very supportive. I love that we were so centrally located. I really wanted to be in downtown Downers Grove. I wanted to be near the train station to make it easy for people to get to us. Um, just knowing a lot of people take the train to go into the city. Uh, so we moved out here when our kids were little, knowing that they had really great school districts. Uh, my kids are grown now, they're, they're 27 and 23. We, we knew this was a, a community where the people were really supportive. We saw that even when our children were little um, in, in this community. And, and again, that downtown location for us was really key because we wanted to really serve this community right from a central location. Hi, I'm Michael Lind. Welcome back to ProViews with the Procopio Group and Coldwell Banker Realty. Today we're showcasing another great local business in Downers Grove, BeFit Physical Therapy and Pilates. I'm joined with its president and owner, Mary Lou Savino. Hi, Mary Lou. How are you today? Good, Michael. How are you? Good. Why don't we start by telling a little bit about what your business does? Sure. So it's BFIT Physical Therapy and Pilates, and we really are an integrated physical therapy and Pilates uh, total wellness center. Obviously, the majority of what we do is orthopedic outpatient physical therapy. Um, so we're seeing a lot of people with, you know, post-surgical issues, whether it's a total knee or a rotator cuff, you know, ankle, hip, um, all kinds of musculoskeletal strains and sprains. Um, but then we also uh, work with um, people who who have uh, issues of uh, vertigo, like vestibular issues or balance. Um, and then we also do women's health and pelvic floor work. So, um, but we are an integrated physical therapy outpatient clinic. So we also have a fitness gym and we have a massage therapist. And so we have other services that are wellness based um, as well as the physical therapy. So those sound like your specialties. Are they your main focus? Those are our two biggest specialties, the vestibular. Um, again, those are people with dizziness, vertigo, balance disorders, and then the women's health, which are pelvic floor disorders. Um, so those are our two big specialties. Um, but uh, part of what we do in terms of our specialties is also on the Pilates side of it. So we have Pilates instructors who see um, clients one-on-one -on -one for Pilates uh, sessions on, on the equipment, on the Pilates apparatuses. So that's another part of the specialty that we do. So, um, and then we have a, a fitness gym, so we do some, some fitness as well. And what was your inspiration? How did you get started? So I really started um, 28 years ago. I've been doing this for 28 years and I actually started on um, the hospital side. So I worked in both, it was inpatient, outpatient, physical therapy um, in a hospital-based setting. And so we did some of everything when you work in the hospital. We did orthopedic, we did um, neuro, so people with strokes and things like that. Um, we also saw um, cardiac rehab phase one. We saw um, wound, we did wound care and whirlpools. So we sort of did the gamut of it. So it was both inpatient, outpatient, patient, orthopedic, neurological, and a little bit of all of that. Um, I was also though um, a, a fitness instructor. Um, so. With that, I also became a, a certified personal trainer. And as time went on, um, again, since my background is a little bit of both fitness and physical therapy, um, I started, to, I actually took a course on Pilates and fell in love with the rehab base of it and fell in love with how well it worked for patient populations as well as the general, the general public. So I started blending that with what I did in physical therapy. Um, and, and I knew I knew then that I really wanted to have a more wellness-based outpatient physical therapy center, um, a little less traditional than, than what you might see in, in the typical settings. And so that was really the, the inspiration. I knew I did not want to work that setting forever, but it was really good training, really good teaching. I worked rehab, I worked skilled nursing, um, and, and I, I worked outpatient as well, obviously. But I wanted, I, I wanted to be a little more well-rounded and then and then with time i wanted to be able to blend both the physical therapy and the rehab with with the wellness and, and the pilates and that was really the inspiration from it is 
bridging people from uh, rehabilitation to lifelong wellness. And how did you pick Downers Grove to start your business? So we actually moved to Downers Grove um, when my kids were very young before they started school. And we found this community, gosh, it was just, we could see how supportive they were and the wonderful schools that they had. And so we, we fell in love with it. So we moved out here when my kids were really little and, and they're big and grown and out the door now. They're 27 and 23, but we moved here when my daughter was uh, almost six years old. And we, that was it, we were hooked right from the beginning. So we knew we wanted to serve the community um, when I was looking at opening. We wanted to be central. We wanted to be in this downtown area. Um, and we found the people in the community to be a big support system and a big help. And that was really important. So we knew we wanted to serve um, from, from that type of location. And we knew we wanted to be connected with this community um, once we got here. And with the pandemic that we're all going through and the stay at home orders that, and the reopening, how has that affected your business? It's been difficult. Business has been down anywhere from 60 to 70%. So we've, we've taken a bit of a hit. Um, of course, doctor's offices haven't really been open with the exception of emergencies, so that has decreased our referral base, although we are really a word of mouth company. Um, but people who are at risk, like our older population, of course, have not been able to come in. Um, and other people, you know, some of them who are post-surgical or have had injuries, may or may not come in because of the pandemic. There's, there's a fear factor there. They're afraid to leave their homes. They're afraid to come out. Um, some people didn't even know we were still open. And so there's this concern about coming in for your physical therapy because it is one-on-one, -on -one. we are hands-on, but we do you know, follow all the CDC guidelines. People who have been coming have been um, very happy that we've stayed open for them, um, but we're wearing masks. The patients are wearing masks as well. We're using gloves when we need to do anything that's hands-on. Um, so it's, it's, but it has, it has had a toll, it has had an effect on the business um, and that's, that's been a bit difficult, but you know, part of our goal is to keep people out of emergency rooms who have injuries, um, musculoskeletal injuries. So we are staying open um, to, help, to help with that as well. So if people get injured or they have a problem, they should call us, we can help direct them what they, what they can do or, or where they can go or if it's something that we can help them with here in the clinic. And that's probably the best way the community can support you right now. Absolutely. They can let um, people know that we are still open if they need physical therapy to please let them know that we are open and we are here for them. Um, you know, it's clean, it's safe. We are cleaning every surface, obviously, as we go, um, following all those guidelines. But, but they can feel confident um, in coming here for their physical therapy. So if you know somebody who's hurt themselves or had an injury, or just isn't sure like which direction to go, um, we can help direct them. So we can say, this is something you need to call a doctor about. This is something that needs an x-ray right away. So if they can just let people know that we're here and we're open, we're screening people. And um, even if it's not appropriate to come in, we can help direct them in what to do. And how can the community contact you? Absolutely. So we are here in downtown Downers Grove. Uh, 4934 Main Street. We are just north of the tracks. Um, and if anybody needs to get a hold of us, there's several ways. Our phone number or call is awesome, 630-964-4008. You can find us uh, through our website to contact us. That's BFIT, the company name, B-E-F-I-T, P-T, like physical therapy.com. Um, and even email. So our email is info, I-N-F-O, at BFIT. PT.com. And what social media are you on? We are on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So those are all ways to follow us. We're putting content out all the time. Some I've been putting out some exercise videos um, just to you know give people something to do. Uh, we've been putting out other content to help people get through this. So if they want to follow us on our social media, that would be awesome. Again, we've got Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Well, thanks for that information, Mary Lou, and thanks for joining me today. Thank you so much. I really appreciate what you've been doing. This is really, really great for the community, and we really appreciate it. Please join us again next time when we'll showcase another great local business in Downers Grove. 
for ProViews, the Procopio Group, and Caldwell Banker Realty. I'm Michael Lind. Thanks for watching.